My name is Jessica Lynn and I'm the owner of Jessica Lynn Original. Uh, today we are going to make another Corgi card. I'm super excited. Uh, this is a brand new rubber stamp set by Jessica Lynn Original for 2017. You can see there's a whole bunch of Corgis on there and there's even a little pug and quite a few sentiments. We are also going to use some white cardstock. We're going to use some different color papers and all of the paper came from a color book designer paper pack. Um, can't remember where I got this one, but it's a 4 by 6 pack. So we're going to use those two. And we're going to use a Lawn Fawn uh, die craft. So I am so excited to create this card. Um, thank you again for following along. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our Lawn Fawn stitched hillside pop-up die cut. And we're going to go ahead and cut the ground that my corgi is going to sit on. Um, I use a cuddle bug. I got it many, many years ago for Christmas, and I'm just so excited that I finally have a bunch of dies that I can use to... Alright, so let me just get this all lined up and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I use this green colored paper, and it's really pretty. It's got some pretty little leaves and some butterflies, so we're just going to run it on through. Do, 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 do. All right, let's go ahead and take a look and see how that looks. So we'll just move this out of the way. All right, take off my top layers, take off my hillside die cut, and I have a beautiful, ready to go green floral hillside. Super excited. So this is our first step. So let's go ahead and keep moving forward. This die cut, everything is going to be on the inside of the card. So I'm going to go ahead and build. I have some really pretty blue paper. And we are going to go ahead and build up our first layer. I'm going to get that blue in there. All right. Go ahead and just cut all that out. Alright. So now we've got our sky, if you will, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and take my die cut. So here's my my grass. Okay. And what's nice is there's a nice little, let me see if you can see it here. There's a nice little perforated edge. So I know right where to fold it. Okay, so we're going to start there. Okay, so we're going to get a little glue on that. Okay, that's going to fold up really nice. So we're going to put a nice crease right there. And then, what I saw on a great video was someone suggested that I go ahead and lay these two flat, just like that, and put glue on them, and then just simply fold the card in half. And then, as my daughter calls it, spiders. So we're going to do some spiders. And then... A little too close here. Oop. Almost close. Let me just fold that. Okay, so you can see now I'm starting to get a nice little little uh, three-dimensional piece all built in. My cards aren't always perfect. This is the first time I've ever tried this. So I put a little too much glue on. So as my daughter would say, oopsie daisies, a little too much glue. Um, so I pulled it back down, but I was able to fix it so you can see it made a really pretty three-dimensional, so you can see all that here, we'll just go from above, so you can see there's a nice three-dimension to it, a little light on it so you can see it better, okay? Alright, so let's go ahead and keep moving forward. The next thing we're going to do, now that we've got our little stage set, if you will, mm -hmm. um, alright, the next thing we're going to do 
is we're going to go ahead and build our pup. So I took him out of his packaging. And again, these are Jessica Lynn Originals brand new Corgi stamps. So definitely go ahead and over to our website and take a look at them. They're super cute. You can see there's a lot of detail in this clear stamp. And they are true photopolymer. Um, and you might say, what the heck does that mean? Um, it's a really high quality. They stick really well. There's not a lot of rubber or plastic in them. <coughs> so the nice part about that is that when you actually stamp them down, you get a really beautiful image. So we'll go ahead and get them all prepped here. And I personally right now have been using Close to My Heart inks. I like to play around with different styles, inks. Um, try, see what they got. Let's go ahead and get them all stamped up. So get them all inked. Okay. And it's the first time I've used this one, so sometimes it takes a little bit just because you got to prime your stamps a little bit. Okay, so right now I'm just getting them all full of ink. Getting them all ready. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll stamp him down. The little spiders. The little spiders, that's right. My daughter's helping with my video today. So you can see I went ahead and stamped him. Let's just take a look and see how cute he looks. See him nice and close. There he is. And you can see there is a lot of detail in this adorable little pup. Look at that little face, so cute. All right. So let's go ahead and color them in. I am going to use a couple of different Copic markers. So some of the colors I'm going to use, let's put those in there for you real quick. And then this one as well. Okay. And today's the first day here in Wisconsin. It's absolutely beautiful. It's got windows open. Um, so that makes videos just a little fun because you can hear some airplanes going on. All right, so let's go ahead and color this little guy up. Uh, there are quite a few different color options for the Corgi. Um, I'm just going with the most traditional. They come in like different brindles and grays and blacks and this version doesn't have the tail. There's also the other version that does have the tail. Let's get them all colored in. Okay. Okay. So you can see I'm getting them all colored in. He looks super cute. There's little shadows in there for him. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put all that in there. And then I'm going to color his little nose. And then color his tongue. So now we're going to go ahead and cut them out. Again, if you have a brother cutter machine or any of those, um, definitely, uh, you know, this would be a great opportunity. I'm just going to quickly fussy cut them out. And I'm going right up to those lines, nice and tight. And I'll show you why in a minute. Cut them all out. All 
All right, so he's all cut out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put some glue on him. And then we're going to set him in the grass. Now, the one thing we've got to be careful of is that he doesn't pop up over because he's pretty tall. So we're going to pop him down into the grass. So he's hanging out, hiding in the grass a little bit. Okay. So there you can see him just hanging out in the grass. So super cute. He's just hanging out. And you can see, again, that three-dimensional punch. Super cute. Okay. So now let's go ahead and embellish this card. Because obviously if I just gave somebody a white card and then they're like, oh, thanks. Oh my god, there's a whole corgi seat. So we're going to go ahead and embellish. So let's go ahead and on the inside... We'll stamp a happy birthday. And the happy birthday stamp, this is one you've seen a couple of times. It's the Live the Life You Dream Of stamp set from Jessica Lynn Original. It's this happy birthday right there. So I'm going to get my ink out. We're going to ink it up. Stamp a little happy birthday on there. You can see how beautiful that looks. And then I think what I'm going to do on the cover So we got our corgi lover inside. Maybe we can put some a sun up here. Or we can design something cute. Because it definitely needs something else. Um, on the outside, yeah, maybe we can use one of those sentiments. I think what I'm going to do, I still have some of this, uh, the green paper. I'm super simplistic, nothing exciting, because I want all the excitement to be inside the card. Oops. Okay. Okay. So we've got that on there, super simplistic, but really pretty. And then let's go ahead and we will put we could put a tiny little happy birthday. We could put the corgi party dog. Mm. Let's see what I got here. I've got a couple of different options. Go ahead and put something nice and inspiring on the front. Let's go ahead and put that on there. We'll put the live the life you dream about. So to the average person who's getting this card, they're going to go, oh cool, you made me a handmade card. I'm more of a corgi lover, but that's great. That's fine. I like what you did. And then they're going to open it up and be like, what? There's a whole scene inside. So let's go ahead and just decorate this up a little bit. Um, I like using strange papers for texture-wise. I think that's kind of fun. It just makes it look a little different. So we're going to go ahead and use... Oh, let's use some of this. So this is a fun paper. Again, it's in that same pack that I got. Don't really know where I got it from, um, but it's really cute. And I'm just going to cut a little circle out. Now, I could use a circle die. I could, you know, just to cut out the perfect circle. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's kind of fun just to, you know, do stuff on the fly. Cut it out, see what happens. Oh, this is cute. So you can see now there's like a little sun in there. It's like a whole little scene. I found this really cute tiny little paw print. You can see it right there. So you can see that little paw print. Okay. It came out of the corgi set as well. So we're just going to ink that up. 
just stamp some little paws, like muddy little paw prints, all over the front of your card. Just gonna make it look like the puppy just was walking all over. what I might do let's see what do we got inside blue so I'm going to take I have these color technic glitter markers and I'm going to go over the blue for dream just give it a really pretty blue color to it so hopefully you can see that I'll show you as soon as I'm done Okay, so you can see there's like a really nice now. Okay, so the person gets their car and they're like, let's see what's what. There is a whole little corgi going on in there. So I could put party hats, balloons. Um, I just put a really simplistic happy birthday. Um, so this is a cute little card. You know, it's one of those that, again, I'm still building up my skills. And there are some definite things that I've seen that other people have done that maybe I could have done. Um, but I do like, I do like the uh, lawn fawn die cut. That's a lot of fun. The corgi stamp goes really well with it. I think. I'm gonna make his eyes a little sparkly. And then I think what I'm gonna do is make his tongue. Use some of my glitter pen. Um, I'll make his tongue look like it's wet. There. So let's just. There you can see that's all done now. And then of course inside. You could write your message to somebody, happy birthday. And then, as always, don't forget, on the back of every card, I highly encourage, go in and sign the back of your card. And if you like my videos, I thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'm going to go ahead and pop a little Brentwood up right up here. So go ahead and subscribe. Again, this is the brand new Corgi rubber stamp set, so if you like it, go ahead and pick it up today. I'm also going to pop up two more videos that you can watch that will teach you um, about our stamps and a little bit more about my card making. So I look forward to having you subscribe, and we'll talk again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.